What's up guys? Today we are out here touring a house in Scottsdale, Arizona. I have Brandon Powell with our acquisition team and Eddie Lacy. For those of you that don't know Eddie Lacy, he was in the NFL for five years playing with the Green Bay Packers and Seattle Seahawks and he's learning about some real estate. So I thought what better way to do this than hands-on touring a property and also to be able to share it with you guys. Obviously you guys are wondering what's Brandon doing here too? Brandon handling acquisitions as well as our athlete relations within our team. So with that said, let's check out this property. So you guys are probably wondering why we're walking in through the carport because houses that are distressed don't always have the easiest access. We don't have a key for the front door. So gotta do what you gotta do. We can start here. Walking through the carport, the first thing you can see is that this kitchen needs a lot of updating. Some things that can be a red flag, the islands that move. So as you could probably guess, a lot of the stuff is original. I mean, this is definitely older than me. That might be older than all of us put together. I mean, we got stainless and then we've got this. <laughs> you guys can see the flooring is ripped up. We've got some cracks in the foundation. Um, just some things to be alarmed. Obviously, again, this is original, so we're trying to be mindful. One thing I do want to point out that I'm very curious to understand, why is there a phone in the bathroom? I don't know what kind of business you're doing in here, but deals are deals. <laughs> So with this house being older, a lot of the stuff they do is built-in wall units. You can see they went a little overboard between a closet, this wall unit, as well as this right here. This is all going to be for storage. This was what was considered to be a value add back in the day. Um, however, it just doesn't seem to make sense now. So I think this is what we would consider our primary bedroom. The only reason I'm assuming that is because there's a bathroom. Who knows? Jesus. Oh, it's updated. Oh, God. What the hell even is this? Dude, I, don't, I have no idea what this room is. I think they just added living space. That's what they were going for. But this is not a functional room. Now, this is considered to be an Arizona room. This might not be permitted. I have to double check that. But again, this is one of the rooms that people add just to add additional square footage to the house. Finally, we have found some value in this house. Because we have a pool that adds an additional fifteen to twenty thousand dollars to our ARV, our after repair value, and as you can see, we have a lot of things being developed and built around us. That's some stuff that we look for in value add. But in this particular property, we've got a lot of work to do. So this property has a lot of work to do. Obviously, the thing I want to share with you guys is to be completely transparent and go through the numbers. So we have this property listed at six hundred thousand dollars. We obviously can't offer six hundred thousand because the after repair value is six hundred seventy-five thousand. After walking the property, I will tell you that my estimated rehab number was extremely low. We originally planned for around sixty to seventy-five thousand dollars of renovations. This is more around one hundred twenty-five to one hundred fifty thousand, and that may not even be enough. With that said, breaking down all of our numbers, and in this current market, we are looking at our purchase price being around three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars, and that is best-case scenario. If you guys are trying to learn more about how to do this, how to calculate your numbers, and how to find these deals on market, make sure to check out AgentInvestors.com. Oh, and by the way, if you click the link below, you get 200 bucks off. Let's go.